Firstly, we know that the lamp must be off when the LDR is illuminated. Therefore, when the resistance of the LDR is low, the voltage in the transistor base is also low. This tells us the structure of the circuit. The value of R1 must be very much greater than the value of the LDR resistance. Now we will work out by how much. Ex Suppose the resistance of the LDR is 2 kilo ohms in the dark. We know that the base must reach 0.7 volts before switching. We know that VR1 equals 8.3 volts. RLDR equals 2 kilo ohms. VLDR equals 0.7 volts. We need to find R1. Using ratios, we can now work out the value of R1. R1 divided by RLDR equals VR1 divided by VLDR. That equals 8.3 divided by 0.7 equals 11.86. Therefore, 11.86 equals R1 divided by RLDR. Therefore, R1 equals 11.86 times RLDR equals 11.86 times 2 kilo ohms. R1 equals 23.7 kilo ohms. Therefore, R1 should be set to 23.7 kilo ohms if the lamp is to come on when the resistance of the LDR reaches 2 kilo ohms. Experiments with LDRs and transducers. In these experiments, you can change the amount of light falling on the LDR and see what effect it has on the lamp in the circuit. If you want the lamp to be on when it is light and off when it is dark, simply reverse the positions of R1 and the LDR. Change the amount of light falling on the LDR and see what effect it has on the lamp in the circuit. The following animation shows a real-life application for the previous circuit. As the car's reversing lights get closer to the wall-mounted sensor, they reduce the LDR's resistance. At a certain point, they will cause the voltage of the transistor to rise, lighting the warning light. Note, as the reversing lights go out, so does the warning light. The distance from the wall at which the warning light comes on can be adjusted using the variable resistor in the circuit. The previous circuit was a very simple electrical system. All electrical systems, no matter how complicated, can be split into three sections. Input, process, and output. The previous circuit would be split as follows. LDR, transistor, lamp. To take a more complicated example, let us look at a CD system. In its most basic form, the input is provided by the compact disc. The process occurs in the CD player and the output is provided by the speakers. Using block diagrams can help in the design of all electronic systems. Example, give the block diagram of a burglar alarm. Always think input, process, output, which in the case of a burglar alarm becomes sensor, latch, warning device. Some more systems the too cold to hold alarm. In these experiments, you can change the temperature of the liquid and see the effect it has on the circuit. System two, the too hot to handle alarm. Again, you can change the temperature of the liquid and see the effect it has on the circuit.